what makes this place really special is we focus on God's Word, teaching God's Word and living out God's Word. I, I can just think about uh, the baptisms that we have celebrated since 2019. For me personally, it was, it has been very impacting in just seeing what we can do as a big church to become small and really become like a family. We have all ages, men and women and married and single and kids in the home and families with kids who are, are outside of the home, empty nesters, but we see them coming together in true biblical community, caring for each other. I think about the hundreds of marriages that have been healed and restored or grown or impacted through our marriage ministry here. It's challenging finding child care when you have a special needs child. It's just been a blessing in so many ways for us. I wanted to see the discipling of the people in a way that is more qualitative, not just quantity focused, but going deeper to their root issues and helping them apply the Word of God. I think we have a great opportunity to be a church that the next generation is excited to be a part of. That's probably the most exciting thing that we see is students decide to follow Jesus. And then we've seen students then uh, go from having, now that they are disciples, they're stepping into disciple making in some really cool ways. You know, we, we were seeing the demographics change in the church. We're seeing younger families come, <laughs> younger people come. I would say what makes this a special place for hope is seeing all the different countries come together. I spent almost three decades traveling the world from a different warfare type perspective, but now to be involved in a community uh, where we're actually engaging all these different countries on a spiritual plane uh, is really cool. Like they could look around and say, man, you have older people, uh, younger people, uh, black, white, and everything in between. I, I want them to scratch their heads and question, like why in the world are you guys united in such joy? And to that, we're able to boldly declare that, you know, it's Jesus who's able to unite people uh, that the world otherwise can. My desire is that as a church family, that we would be able to move forward in unity, uh, that we would be bonded with each other, and that we would reflect that unity um, to the world around us. My desire is that we as the Church of Jesus Christ would do justice and that we would love kindness and walk humbly before God and we would miraculously be able to be in unity by the power and the cross of Jesus Christ and that we would be able to obey those who rule over us and be submissive. As um, the, we are equipped by the pastors and the leaders, we obey God and we walk according to what God has said. I once was alone, right? And now I'm part of the family of God. I am his child. I once needed, desperately needed mercy, and now I have it in Christ. And can I introduce you to the one who gave that to me? Um, that is my hope for this church and the hope that this church would be that for the people who are still wandering in darkness.